Okay, friends, let's take a closer look at column D in case you're having a hard time wrapping your head around what it's, uh, what it's, what it's showing you. So column D is an indication of people per electoral vote for each of the 50 states plus the District of Columbia. So for Alabama, Alabama gets nine electoral votes. And the population of Alabama, at least the, at the time I put this spreadsheet together, was 4,863,300 people. Where did this number come from? Well, that number right there is gotten by taking the total number of people in the state and dividing it by the number of electoral votes because we want the unit people per electoral vote. And just like we did in the notes videos and all the homeworks, you take the total population and divide it by the number of electoral votes. That way you get the unit people per electoral vote and then you can quote unquote do the math of 4,863,300 divided by nine. Now, the downside of using spreadsheets is the spreadsheet doesn't know what the units are. You have to know what the units are. So if you look over here in column D, cell 3, 540,367 people per electoral vote in Alabama. But if you look up here, you can see how we got the spreadsheet to do that. I typed an equal sign, which means that the spreadsheet now knows I'm going to be using a formula. And then I typed C3 which is the population of Alabama. And then I hit divided by B3, which is the number of electoral votes. So I didn't actually go to a calculator and type in 4,863,300 and then hit the divide by sign and then type nine. I simply typed equals and then I clicked on that 4,863,300 and then I hit the slash for a division sign and then I clicked on the nine and then I pressed enter. And if you look for each state under that, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, so forth and so on and so forth, every single one does the exact same thing. It takes the total number of the population of that state or district and divides it by the number of electoral votes. So I just wanted to make sure you saw how that was being calculated because that'll also help you uh, moving forward with the rest of the lab. Okay, hope it helped.